<clears throat> this is another video in uh, <clears throat> Fundamental of Electrical Circuits uh, series. This time we're going to talk about how uh, to use the knowledge we've gained so far to build an analog ammeter or voltmeter and voltmeter. Typically, um, there's a device that's commonly used uh, for the analog devices is called the D-arsenal movement. Uh, it's a relatively simple if you think about how uh, when electricity, let's say, let's say electricity is flowing this way, uh, if you put a plus minus voltage here and have a current that flows through here, this piece of metal that sits in here gets magnetized and gets attracted to either, this is a permanent magnet here, so either gets attracted one way, and when there's no voltage, there's a spring loaded and it brings it to zero. So if we put the maximum voltage here and a maximum current here, this dial will move to full here. And if we, if we put no voltage, no current in it, it's going to be at zero. Uh, typically, these devices, these, these de arsenal devices are the dials, the dials you see, the non-digital analog uh, gauges you see around are pretty much all built the same way. There is a material that can be magnetized by uh, putting wires around it and sending electricity to it. There's a permanent magnet and a uh, hand that moves from zero to full movement. They usually refer to this end as full movement and the other side as zero movement or no movement. So. Um, if you wanted to fully analyze this, we need to have knowledge of how inductors and electromagnetic field works. But fortunately, we don't have to have all that information to do the analysis on this circuit. We can simply model this thing by uh, a resistor, which makes life very easy. So for this resistor, we will have I which would basically talk about the maximum current. Usually they give us a value, say max IN, which is the max, the current that allows the needle to go all the way to the full position. And then um, they, this would have a corresponding voltage and they model this by giving us an R value for the resistor. So instead of drawing the physical um, device every time we wanna use it, we can use this as a model of the device. Uh, as you know, um, based on Ohm's law, Vm equals to Ri. And so in order to specify what a move, how a movement works, you simply have to uh, tell us two other items. You tell us I and V, we can find out what R is, or uh, you tell us R and I, we can find a V. So that's what it is. For example, for this one, they told us that the full deflection happens, the full movement happens at 1 milliamp and at 50 millivolt. So basically telling us that this is Vm and this is Im. Um, so so five, once we have that, then uh, from here we can find out what R for the, the arsenal of all is. R is basically going to be Vm divided by Im which is equal to 50 millivolts divided by one milliamp. So this is a 50 ohm device. So hopefully that makes sense. So that's a dr movement. That's a core of how analog ammeters and voltmeters work. Now let's, let's talk about this. So let's say, so I would like to build a voltmeter uh, that has a range of zero to let's say 100 volts. That's the range. And I have been given a D arsenal. They want using, they want to have me to use a D arsenal that has a VM, the maximum for the full movement you have to give it, let's say 100 millivolts. And uh, the resistance for this thing, let's say, it's um, um, uh, 50 volts for the DR symbol. So this is given, and uh, 
uh, they want us to design this voltmeter. So design a voltmeter uh, that has a range of 0 to 100 and use that. So you say, okay, that's fine. So they want me to measure some voltage. This is the voltage I have to measure. Let's say Vn. And that can be from 0 to 100. So that basically means that I want my dial to be at the full movement when I have um, when I when I have 100 volts. So you want when this input is 100 volts, you want your the arsenal of all model. Let's uh, for clarity. Let's let's call this one R D A for now, so we remember which one is. So the D R the arsenal of all which we know it's 50 right this was what they gave us 50 we want this to only be seeing 100 millivolts so do you remember we, we talked about voltage divider in the earlier um, earlier um, videos so all we have to do is we have to build a voltage divider that when you got a hundred volts here you are seeing only 100 millivolts in here now remember so so i have to have this r here let's call it the limiting r that takes most of the voltage so basically this is going to be let's convert this to volts so we are talking so that's 0.1 volt that basically if, if 0.1 volt is here and 100 is here then 99.9 .9 volt has got to be taken here um, taken up by here so you still have a hundred when you go around the loop and do a KVL you still have a hundred volts so that's great so we found that voltage now but that's not what we're interested in. we are trying to build this 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 uh, this um, multimeter so we know this is the the arsenal of all we got that one now we got to figure out what RL is so that's pretty pretty straightforward because I know this R is 50 ohm because they gave it to me and I know it's 0.1 volt so that means the current that is flowing through here I is equal to Vm over RDA so it's basically 100 millivolts divided by 50 which tells us it's 2 milliamp so once I have this 2 milliamp and I have the voltage here the same current is going to flow here so RL simply is going to be V um, V of the RL divided by I so so in this case it would be 99.9 .9 volt divided by 2 or let's make it amps so 0.2 amp. so this is or uh, this will be the answer uh, for us okay so so that's um, more or less is would be approximately 50 now this is approximate you can put it in your calculator to find out the exact amount but it's roughly 50 um, or, or uh, that was yeah it would be 50 kilo ohms so so if in order to build this thing I have to have a resistor that is roughly 50 kilo ohm here. I have to have my DR Sinoval device here. Um, and then now whatever I put across here uh, will be measured between 0 and 100 volts. Great. So that was how we do voltmeters. So in voltmeters, all we have to do is make sure that when we have the maximum of the range, your the arsenal volts is only seeing 100 millivolts, and that will take care of you being able to design one. Now, let's say we had the same device. Let's say we have the same device, almost the same question we are being asked. This time, they're asking us to design an M meter. With the range of let's say 0 to 5 amp um, that's the range using the arsenal wall movement 
uh, and uh, we can make up uh, let's let's use this one um, uh, which uh, with the R after the R snowball being 50 and the V maximum for the full movement be 100 milli now this is interesting because if I've got if I'm measuring something that is capable of putting 5 amp as a max in here and my device my the arsenal device um, the RA here is 50 ohms and the voltage that can take the maximum is 100 and millivolts and earlier we figured out that the current will be 2 milliamps 100 divided by 50 so I have to figure out how I can make sure when I'm got five amp the maximum across here, uh, that not all of that volt uh, current ends up going down in here. Now we rely on what we learned in the voltage, uh, the current divider, and we basically which says if you want to divide your current, you need to put another resistor. This is an ugly looking resistor, but we'll get it cleaned up. You have to have another resistor, the limiting resistor. And that limiting resistor should have uh, all the other uh, current. So if 5 amp is coming in, 2, uh, two milliamp is going here, that means this one better have the rest. Five, 5 amp is also can be written as 5,000 milliamp, right? So if 5,000 milliamp is coming in, 2 milliamp is going here, 4,998 milliamp better go down here. Now we can use everything we've learned to, so that in order to design this R, the arsenal of all, we have to find RL and based, we've learned a whole bunch of things in um, KCL, KVL. Uh, we know these two resistors are in parallel. That means the voltages has to be the same. That means right here, you're also gonna have 100 milliamp, millivolts, I'm sorry, across it because you have 100 millivolts here. Simply RL is gonna be V divided by I. We've got 100 milliamps on the top and 4998 milli, I'm sorry, millivolt on the top and 49998 milliamp on the bottom. And that tells us basically we need 100 divided by 4998 ohm resistor for our RL. We are done. So all we have to do for our DR, so all we have to do is to measure, be able to measure current, there is our ammeter. What we have to do is we have to put our DR Cineval device here with the measurement and then add a resistor. And this resistor has to be 100 divided by 499. Oh, pretty tough, that's a very small resistor. We have, we, have, we have to be very, very careful when we are trying to build small resistors. So that, that some, to summarize, we started by talking about how do you, uh, what's the basic movement in analog devices. And we talked about the DR all, which is a permanent magnet. There's a permanent magnet here. And then you have some magnetizable material here where you wind it with a wire. And as you put the current in here, it gets magnetized and the hand moves because poles, these become north and south pole and get attracted to one end or the other end of the permanent magnet. By, by the time you put the maximum current, this needle will be all the way to the full position. So they refer to it as full deflection or full movement uh, when you put the maximum current. And then we were able to model that as just simply a resistor. And uh, we know that the resistor relationship is covered by the Ohm's law. And then we showed here that you can use it to design a voltmeter. Typically, you want to measure a much larger voltage than the arsenal can handle. So you have to have a limiting resistor here. And we talked about how to create that. And then down here, we said, okay, can we use the arsenal to design an ammeter? Yes. In this case, we want a small amount of current because the maximum current it can handle is 2 milliamp. So we decided that we will put a limiting current, a limiting resistor here to take all the rest of the um, current through it and kind of use our knowledge of um, current divider to calculate that. And we ended up that this would be an ammeter using a DR symbol. That brings us to the end of analog ammeter and voltmeter design.